Welcome to my diary. I'm Tatami. Here we talk about whatever I want to. And today, we're talking about something I didn't think I'd be talking about. Okay, let me first of all clarify that I, in fact, was a fan of Kanye back when I was 16. And that fool called himself a slam poet. Okay, was out there delivering truths on the stage while everybody clapped. Yeah. Okay, so I'm old school Kanye fan. I'm not a new school Kanye fan, though. I stopped being Kanye's fan back when he uh, married Kim Kardashian, just to be completely, completely honest. That's when I realized I was like, oh, some people will understand an issue and preach an issue and then ultimately realize it's easier and doesn't use up so much of their life force and energy to just go with the status quo. So that's when I was like, all right, honey, do you, whatever it is you think you're doing, I'm just not gonna support it anymore, okay? Because by that point, it felt like he'd been not doing so hot, but kind of gaslighting me about it for years. And by right now, I feel like he's been coasting on Jesus walks for the last decade. Shoot me, hate me for saying it, honey. What has he even been producing that speaks to anybody's culture, that shows his genius, that brings cultures and communities together? Nothing. He hasn't done jack shit for nobody, spoken about any kind of issues, done a damn fucking thing. And recently I found out that this fool, during the pandemic, signed up for the small business loans, the PPP, okay? And he got like two to five million dollars of the small business loan. Like, y'all, you've seen how much Yeezy's cost and how much his clothesline costs, how much his wife makes, how much, like, he makes on keeping up with the Kardashians. He still sells concerts. He still makes, you know, shitty music, but, I mean, he's still making music with these people, you know, doing silly-ass shit. He's still making money, and he had the audacity, audacity, to ask for the money, take the money, spend the money, and now wants to get in your face and ask to be president. And I wanna know what at what point are y'all gonna be tired? At what point? Cause this guy just lies. He just lies. He like lies about like why he's trying to run for president. He lies about what he's trying to do. Y'all let me go get let me go get this interview that I just heard and read. Let me go get this shit. All right, I got it. Um, And first off, before I start reading this shit, I want to just say it. I want to just say it. This is why I don't cancel black women. Because, y'all, we have Chrisette Michelle canceled because she sang at Trump's inauguration. Sang. She needed the money. And she sang at Trump's inauguration. And then we decided to cancel her because... Then we have, like, uh, Azealia Banks. All she's ever done is talk too much shit. Literally. Talk too much shit. Talks too much shit. But one thing you can say about Azalea Banks is she don't lie. She says exactly what's on her mind, exactly what she knows is the truth. In that moment, she says exactly what it is. And plenty of times other people have lied about what was going on. And then they came back out and were like, actually, Azalea was telling the truth. But everybody's so busy dick writing that Azalea Banks is trash that they won't even listen to the fact that this other person lied on her and is, in fact, also trash. Here we have Kanye West stealing money from small businesses. Y'all pretend you love small businesses when it's about the looters. Kanye West looted $5 million, two to $5 million from small businesses. And I don't see a damn person saying a thing. We are gonna allow him to run for president and be like, black people need to stick together. Meanwhile, black women get canceled all the time, suffer for it. And uh, uh, nothing, nobody's supporting them just because they're black. It makes no sense to me. All right, so let's listen. Let's listen to some of Kanye's plans for presidency. Okay, so we're going to entertain that. If Azealia Banks came out and said she wanted to entertain the presidency, we would rightfully laugh her out of the room. But Kanye West, who has lied to us continuously about why he's wearing the MAGA hat, it's jagging energy. Uh, it's because uh, uh, Trump is cool. Uh, he, basically, he kind of got jealous about the fact that Beyonce and Jay-Z were all through the White House with Obama because he was fans of them. And basically, I think he was hoping that would be him. And it wasn't. You just embarrassed yourself. Fuck you. This is the type of shit he's saying he, he finna do if he's president. 
his political party. He says he would be running as Republican if Trump was not there. He will run as an independent if Trump is there. Y'all want to run for want to vote for him just because he's going for a Republican. What does that mean? What does that mean to Kanye? He's using religion. He is faking having a church, a mega church, weaponizing Christianity, knowing full well that it's very easy to weaponize. Historically, we've seen it very easy to weaponize. So he's here basically acting like he's just a religious conservative. Per like we ain't seen his career, his his dating life his wife, none of it. We're just to believe he is the most conservative Christian of them all. He's ready to lead the Republican Party. <sighs> what, what good does he think he's doing for anybody doing this? Who knows? On his previous support for Trump, he said, Trump is the closest president we've had in years to allowing God to still be part of the conversation. But Kanye is not canceled. Kanye is lying to your goddamn face, saying shit that actually affects your daily fucking life. Let's be real. Azealia Banks saying the N-word with a hard R on Wilding Out affects nobody. It impacts nobody. But yet and still, she is canceled. Yet and still, he is here upholding paradigms that literally kill people, that literally oppress people, that literally force poor, black, and other types of people, marginalized people, disabled people of color, other types of people, trans people, all of these types of people get injured, killed, oppressed, held back, kept into perpetual poverty, which poverty, let's be real, is a form of violence against people's bodies, against people's livelihoods. This is stress. And he's here advocating for that shit. But tr but. Kanye's not canceled for, for backing Trump all these years because he believes he's godlike. Godlike. Y'all, if Trump is godlike, I mean, shit. I don't think much of the Christian God because of all I've seen, but it's like, y'all, really? This is, this is, this is godlike? This is, this is what y'all after? I'll stick with African traditional religion. I'll stick with my ancestors. On his wearing the MAGA hat, here's a good quote. One of the main reasons I wore the red hat is as a protest to the segregation of votes in the black community. He's talking about the fact that most black people vote Democrat because for the most part, Democrats have been willing to give us concessions on things. Whereas the Republican Party is like, if you don't like it, you hate America and you should leave. That's like the Republicans like answer to most problems, whereas Democrats historically in the last several gen generations have been willing to think that they're going to help black people in order to do stuff, which Republicans aren't. That's kind of where this vote discrepancy came from. It wasn't segregation. I I'm not sure exactly what he's trying to say there. Republicans have notoriously tried to suppress black, Latino and lower class votes. So I'm just not sure what segregation. I don't know if that's the word he was trying to use or what exactly, but at any rate, he then goes on to say, he so he's lying. Because if you'll remember a few years ago, when asked why he was wearing the MAGA hat, he said, dragon energy. I've got dragon energy and Trump has dragon energy. So we're just little two little dragon kindred spirits just dragoning along. Honey, please, please. He's lying. He's lying to you. Yet and still, Chrisette Michelle never lied to you, but she's canceled. Hmm, go figure. Go figure. And it wasn't something that could kill you, by the way. Let's continue. He said, also, other than the fact that I like Trump hotels and the saxophones in the lobby. His rich ass stayed at a Trump hotel and was impressed by the decor. That's why he was riding Trump's dick in public about politics that affect health care, infrastructure, housing, all these things that impact the daily person, prison reform, police, school, education, all these things affect our daily lives. But don't worry. He likes the sensibilities of the interior designer who Trump hired to fill up that hotel with interesting shit. Because, like, are we going to pretend Trump designed that hotel? Trump is just this huge saxophone-loving person? Or are we going to just admit that he hired somebody and paid them handsomely to decorate a hotel which fits your fancy? 
That's like showing up to Vegas and you know, you're like, oh, should it be like circus, circus, or what's the other one? Like hurrah, what's the, what are the other, I haven't been to Vegas since I was like a teenager. Uh, yeah, yeah, I never went as an adult myself. Like I should go, I should go. At any rate, my point is, is it's like going to there and being like, you know what? I like that it's circus, circus. They got more animal theme. I'm gonna vote for that guy for president. It's a brand. It's a brand. What are you talking about? You like the saxophone. <sighs> Let's see. Let's see. Sorry, we got to go through this. I'm using someone's video who put up a few screenshots. Kyle Kalinske, y'all. I'm a fan, but um, it's just delusional. It's just delusional. Why would you... But this guy is never going to be canceled. Kanye is, people are not going to stop supporting him. That's what I mean when I say canceled. I don't mean like the whole, when canceled, like it's not, cancel culture isn't like, oh, everybody's got to just hate this person. Cancel culture is, I don't have to support you. You are not entitled to me being your fan, okay? Because you're trash. And I don't give my money to people who do trash things with it when they get it. That's me. That's not a lot of people. A lot of people out here would eagerly hand money to a pedophile if it meant they'd be entertained for the evening. And then they'd roundly contend pedophilia tomorrow uh, and be like, I hope you don't reuse that to rape children. But yet and still you handed him several hundreds last night. That's most people. But that's why that's why I'm saying cancel culture. It's like all it says is like I reserve the right to not spend money on you because you're garbage hold on y'all i i know there was another screenshot mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. and i'm in the back room so like uh my <laughs> my phone isn't working how it usually does okay here we are here we are then this is the best part he insinuates because he's hella late in the game. This is why I dismissed Jesse Ventura a month or two ago, because I was like, you're hella late in the game. What are you planning on doing? Just hopping in at the fourth minute, the final hour, the se the final seconds of the game, you're gonna jump in fully clothed and give a half court shot and hope it goes in. Like, okay, I thought it was weird months ago. It's absurd at this point when he's too late to actually be on the ballot of like, Four states, big states, by the way, like states that he would want if he was to be on the ballot. So Kanye sets it up. Actually, it could be 2024. And now I'm still questioning Kanye. Is this because you want to be president? Is this because you just want to, your name in people's mouths? Um, are you setting up for a 2024 presidency or are you just trying to sell more t-shirts? Like you basically, that's all you do at your mega church is sell $40, $50 merch. So are you just trying to sell some merch? You're feeling a little low. The coronavirus got you a little low. People ain't just giving you their extra money because they don't have extra money. So you got some extra money from the treasury and now you want to get extra money from some other stuff by putting yourself out there and making yourself the center of attention. It's just bizarre. It's just like, why? Why do I have to witness this? Kanye, why? Next, he says, on the coronavirus cure, we pray. We pray for the freedom. It's all about God. We need to stop doing things that make God mad. Who's God? Your God? The Christian God? Why are we still upholding the psycho if he's just trying to punish people every fucking 30 seconds? Okay? We all have to see your whole Bible is just people being punished by this vengeful psycho God. The whole generation of, of Christians colonizing the world were just psycho vengeful people trying to punish the rest of the world for not go abiding by your God. I, I would love to make your God mad. Fuck your God. Stop trying to shove him down everybody's face. Face, You would be pissed. You would be pissed if I was up there trying to be like, actually, the African gods are the real gods. And what you guys got to do is stop making them mad and just follow along with what hoodoo says, with what voodoo says, with what Santeria says. Like, I just anytime you hear a Christian say something from now on out, imagine a voodoo not saying it. Just imagine somebody from an indigenous pagan religion saying the exact same thing and wonder how much respect they would get, wonder how much attention they would give, uh, minutes they would spend considering your offer because they would never consider it if it was me. 
But for some reason, I have to consider it because it's Kanye and his Christian God who he's not even really, let's be real, his church is fake, it's blasphemy, it's not really anything that somebody who is really following Christian doctrine should be attending, but here we are, yet and still, let's continue. <sighs> Pray to the Christian God, that's how we get out of coronavirus, not uh, utilizing the amazing, talented, wonderful people who are put on this planet Earth and following the bloodline of their ancestors, blah, 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 building on the foundation of who came before us, building on the science, continuous, continuous, relying on those scientists and medical experts to do this shit. No, the real, real thing is we all just got to pray. Why are we all praying for people to get through medical school and to graduate with honors and shit if we're not going to just utilize those people? Why, why, are we, why are we saying, bless these graduates, and we ain't going to use the goddamn graduates? We're just going to pray about it? Please, like, what does he mean? What does he want from us? What does he want? What does he... He doesn't want to be president. That's what this answer tells me. If, if that's his answer, might as well just put Mike Pence in charge, because that's basically... He, might as well put Ronald Reagan, right? All these people who let AIDS epidemics ransack their counties, countries, etc. Let's just put those pray it and forget it, people. No, no. What does Kanye want? <sighs> All right. He goes on to vaccines, which may surprise you. I'm actually very lenient on vaccines. Here's why. Personally, I don't see how people who are marginalized, left behind, and basically left to suffer for everything else should suddenly wake up and be like, oh, but they really want me to be good in this way. Yeah, 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 yeah. My tooth is rotting out of my mouth and giving me pain and I have to chew clothes every day because I can't afford dental care and it gives me real pain. But because it's not like painful enough, they won't pull it. My insurance won't cover it. So I guess I'll just be sitting here hurting and, you know, et cetera forever. Okay, so I understand people who are like, I'm in pain, no one ever helps me, but the second y'all in pain, I'm supposed to just shoot myself up with something, despite historically lower class and people of color getting kind of fucked over by the medical system. So my solution to that is Medicare for all, okay? If everybody had equal care, if everybody had access to care, if everybody never had to fear when they had like an extreme scratchy throat that they might put their family into destitution if they went to the hospital, so they would just go instead of, you know, putting the stress on their body and like leeching years off their life by accepting the pain and stress, they would just go to the hospital. I think that that would be great. But in the current situation, I do understand people who are wary of vaccines because no one's out here helping you. Folks out here lying every day. Doctors out here honestly believing that black people feel less pain and so that they should get less medication. It's something like 80% of medical, it was some psycho percentage of medical personnel in a study like last year or the year before that. They honestly said that. Yeah, no, I give them less because they need less. They honestly need less. They handle pain better. They honestly believe that. So for people who are like, just trust the medical system. You don't shoot yourself. Like, honey, you're never going to convince somebody to shoot themselves up with a foreign substance by screaming in their face to just trust the government. Like, it's never going to work. Like, good luck, but it's never going to work. So, I thought like, okay, so let's see what Kanye has to say. He says that he's cautious of the COVID vaccine because it's the mark of the beast. Here we have the Christian God again. Uh, they want to put chips inside of us. They don't need a chip. This is a chip. I carry it everywhere with me. The government knows. They're hearing me right now. Hello, government. They hear me because I carry the chip with me. Hello, mark of the beast. Welcome. I carry you in my pocket because that's the modern world we're in. They caught us, honey. They caught us back at the Blackberry. They caught us. But you're here worried about the injection when they already know everything they need to know about you because your phone is there, honey. Your phone is there. If they want to know, they know. If you're on the list, they know. He goes on to say they want to do all kinds of things to make it where we can't cross the gates of heaven. Don't know about you, but my ancestors in the spirit realm are not about to reject me because I got injected with something against my will or mandatorily here on earth. I'm sorry. Again, I don't understand what the Christian God's problem is, but I know for a damn fact, Big Mama is going to welcome me with open arms, whether someone has cut my arm open or not. 
I don't know. This is the difference. This is the difference between Abrahamic religions and indigenous religions, apparently, because my ancestors are going to accept me no matter what this psycho police state does. So I'm getting into the spirit realm. Keep that to yourself. He says, I'm sorry when I say that they, the humans that have the devil inside them, keep in mind, only Christians believe in the devil. And even they kind of believe in like a whack job version of what originally the word meant um so yeah no other culture believes in this but i'm to believe these people have the devil in them maybe i'll just believe someone spoke evil on them they're cursed etc or we can just believe that people are raised to be self-centered psycho narcissists here in this country which is why people don't want to help each other people want to just get one up on each other it's called capitalism you got to kill people to get what you want basically you got to use people for their whole life force to gain some for yourself okay um ask bezos how that works okay so he goes on and the sad thing is that the saddest thing is that we all won't make it to heaven and there will be some of us who do not make it next question I can't think of a bigger hell than dying and seeing Kanye West's face. Like, God. I would be like, oh my God, give me another chance. Put me back on earth where I struggle and suffer because I'd rather be there than looking at Kanye goddamn West's face. And he pities me. He pities me. Y'all, I don't understand it. I don't understand what he wants. I don't understand why we don't have such strict boundaries and rules. Like, basically, my point is, is either we got to be cutting off everybody or we got to be cutting off nobody. I don't understand how Azealia Banks managed to run herself into the ground, even though she creates really wonderful music. Every time she releases a song, it gets like a million, a couple million views. People share it all over the place. The comment section is like, I don't care if she's probably mad. She's easily one of the most talented producer, uh, rapper girls in the in the modern industry, blah, blah, blah. She creates this stuff. She feels it. It's just blossoming out of her. Every time she makes some art, people say the same type of shit that they say about Kanye. But yet and still, Kanye has so many second chances and I'm just honestly, at this point, I'm flabbergasted as to why. Um, I cut him off years ago before cancel culture was a thing. I was like, I'm just not. I'm not get paying this man money so he can spend it on Kim Kardashian. Like, that's just, that's not where my money is going. <laughs> it's not where my energy is going, my time, none of it. Um, but it just, it boggles me. I just don't understand. What's the criteria? What's it going to take? He took five minutes. Y'all crying about People getting looted in Atlanta. These are black owned businesses. Why would black why would you guys attack a, a black owned business? This black woman's weave shop was attacked and robbed and it sucks. It really sucks. But yet and still we have another black man out here literally robbing poor Americans. We gave him all this money. He's up there sitting in his little castle with his white wife, and it's still not enough. He had to take from people who closed their doors. Think of next time you're out and about in your city, I bet you'll be seeing some closed doors, some shops that you maybe wanted to try out, some restaurants you maybe wanted to try out and they're gone. You, I'm not saying Kanye was the biggest perpetrator, but I'm saying he's out here acting like he's the savior and got all the answers and he is with the elite class, the white class that's up there taking, looting the treasury, buffooning, and then trying to explain to you like you're the idiot. Like, oh, just like, let me lead. If I let him lead, then what? He's shown me his character for so long, for so long. Like I said, I've been his fan since I was a little girl. I've seen him. I've seen this evolution and it's sad. It's nothing. I would have never. If you told me this back in, back in, when he was, you know, doing his poetry, if you told me this back when he was doing Jesus Walks and Gold Digger, I wouldn't have believed you. I wouldn't have believed you. I'd have been like, what? No, never, never. I would have argued till the sun went down. But honey, um, life has a way of teaching you lessons. That's all I got to say. So that's my two cents on Kanye, cancel culture, canceling. What is it going to take? What, when are people going to stop supporting this idiot? Because he is just... He needs help. First off, he needs some kind of mental help. But he just, he needs people to just be honest above all else. Stop condoning this shit. Stop condoning it and just be honest. 
Kanye should not be president. I'm personally going Green Party so I can help them get their votes, perhaps, that they need, help them reach their percentage. Because honestly, at this point, we need to be focusing on the planet, people, and saving all the nuance around that, the nuclear warfare that's going on right now, the, you know, the nuclear arms race that's going on right now, global warming, fucking racial segregation, all that stuff. Um, Howie Hawkins uh, is pro-reparations. He's pro, you know, working against nuclear energy. He's pro working for the earth. He's pro working for this and that. He has a lot of really good policies. We'll probably read those in the next upcoming weeks. I got my eco-socialism shirt, so I'll wear that for that video. But at any rate, I prefer, literally, honey, just don't, not Kanye. Don't give him the time of day. Stop entertaining him, please, and thank you. All right. May your ancestors and spirit guides be with you at every crossroads, and I will see you next time.